The learning that goes on in schools is wonderful and we've got a wonderful education system but I've always felt that as a geography teacher that there was a better way to do geography. There's a better way to give students an opportunity to connect with their world. Uh, over the last 14 years we've visited a number of different countries. Uh, they're all developing countries and we've taken on projects from uh, building schools to wings on hospitals to this one right here which is a uh, a women's shelter here in the, the Himalayas of Nepal. Global has always tried to make sure that, that the projects are real, that they are going to make a difference in the lives of people. And uh, so we've, we've made every attempt to come back to visit uh, projects. So this project here was started last year by last year's group. Uh, but the interesting thing is that this year's group actually helped in fundraising for this project and last year's project as well. So they've got a two-year connection with this, this project and they're going to see it to completion this year. So that's going to be quite exciting. So this, this project, this farm project for abused women was something that my wife had been advocating for for years. And I'd had to keep telling her, we simply don't have the money to do it because we're a small nonprofit organization. And it's a big financial commitment. And then I got this email from Steli School saying we'd like to come to Nepal and do some projects with you and give us some ideas about what, you know, what we could possibly do there. And I shot back a few what I'll call more typical uh, volunteer projects. And the response came back that, yeah, those are kind of, you know, also ran, been there, done that kind of project. Dream bigger. And so I reached on the back shelf and I picked up the farm project. And I thought, wow, I wonder if this is too big. But I'll, you know, I'll put it out there and see what happens. And sure enough, uh, Tim Storm from Steli School read my proposal on that and said, exactly what we want to do. And Sunita and I were elated that somebody was finally interested in this project. We were, we were able to buy the first farm um, from the donated money from Steli School, paid for the entire first farm. And that launched the, the project. We call it Her Farm. We've given it its own logo, its own branding, and its own slogan, uh, which is growing hope in the Himalayas. But to those of us here at the Mountain Fund, it's always going to be Steli's farm. I mean, you know, Steli's has been the driving force behind this place. If not for Stelly's, it simply wouldn't exist. Um, and so to us, it's always going to be Stelly's farm. This year's Nepal trip has been amazing. It's really opened my eyes to the amount of opportunities we have back home as compared to the Nepali people and the struggles they go through every day. And we should really respect the privileges we have living back in Canada. From the start of this trip, we got to learn all the different religions, the different cultures. Um, but by the end of the trip, right now, I find myself thinking I know more about myself than I could have done all the years I've been going to school. Uh, the reason I took Global Perspectives was uh, to have an opportunity to make, uh, make my mother proud, who, uh, who unfortunately passed away a couple of years ago. And uh, having been on this trip, I feel as if I would have done that, which is an incredible opportunity. After spending the past three weeks in Nepal, something I'm taking home is how simply they live here. They all have the bare minimum, but yet they're still so happy. And just back at home in Canada, it's insane how much we have and just how many unresolved issues we have. Here in Nepal, it's, they have so little, but it's just so raw and beautiful here. I really enjoyed it. I think it'll be the best part of my high school experience for sure.